Okay, hopefully I gave it enough time and it's working now. So, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tessa Lamping and today I'm going to go over a few things actually. Um, first and foremost, uh, I apologize if you feel like any of my videos are useless and a waste of your time. I don't post these necessarily for you guys, just you guys. Uh, these are uh, started these have been started because uh, they help me out and I want to track my journey and stay transparent as possible these hold me accountable and I want to look back years from now and see how my journey has progressed uh, along during the, that time and if they help you guys then that's amazing and I'm so glad that my videos were able to help you as well um, and if they don't simple don't watch them unsubscribe don't like it dislike the button I don't care and um, one thing I want to mention is that you guys don't need to be rude I, I know you have all this internet courage, um, you guys are, uh, not everyone, but the, I'm talking to the ones that feel the need to be rude to people online. Um, just because you're miserable doesn't need, mean you need to try and make others feel the way you do. You'll actually get a lot further in life with yourself too if you spread positivity because it'll start wearing on you too and lift your own spirits up. If you're having a terrible crappy day or you just feel like you shouldn't exist, try and be nice to someone else because you shouldn't want them feeling how you're feeling and it'll actually make you feel better in the long run. And to make comments saying or bringing in other people's children and saying that there's a huge child suicide rate and homeless rate and um, runaway rate just and uh, psychological emotional issues first off whoever left that comment your statistics are uh, <laughs> I'm curious to know where you got your statistics. Um, if you think my kid should get a dad, well, <laughs> apparently <laughs> you haven't met everyone out there. Some people are better off without the other parent. <gasps> Trust me, I know. Um, but just why bring people's kids into stuff trying to like say that their kid's gonna commit suicide and it's just not nice. I mean, fortunately, I'm not one that cares about opinions, I, but I mean, there's a lot of other people who do out there and it's not nice to tell someone that their kid's gonna commit suicide, um, especially a little baby. That's just What's wrong with you? Um, anyways, so moral of this little story is why be rude to others? If you're feeling bad, do something that makes yourself feel better instead of putting other people down because that just brings you down too. And well, I'll just report you and block you because I don't need that. My The people who actually do appreciate these videos they don't need to read that. I mean, just why? Um, so yeah, my first report. <laughs> Congratulations, dude. You're an... I don't know, can I cuss on YouTube? Eh, you're a donkey. <laughs> um, anyways, so... Um, I'm getting some other messages saying that I need to size up. People don't like my small share size. Again, my journey, not yours. Don't watch it if you don't like it. There's people out there who will try and please you. So, not my channel. I don't care. This is my journey. And for 
those people saying that other people need to size up, use bigger position sizes? It's not your journey. Who cares what size they're using? It doesn't matter. It's all about a learning experience. So, if I want to use 100 shares, if I want to use 10 shares, if I want to use one share, I'll do it. Matter of fact, um, I did do it today. Let's get into my trades, shall we? <laughs> so this morning, S-O-L-O. -O. Let's see if I can get this. Well, did I try V-B-I-V? -V? There we go. So, well, V-B-I-V -V is in here. So let's see if I can get Solo to show up. All right, here we go. Move this over a little bit. Oh, it's a daily. <laughs> so here's the spike. It's come down. Uh, I guess this would be like number five. This would be a six. Maybe a five and six again. Um, there, let's see, the, what is it? The electric vehicle stock that's been hot or something like that. Anyways, I didn't have this one on my watch list because it didn't pop up on top percent gainers. Um, I have very limited stocks that I get access to with Finviz. Uh, so this was one that was on my teacher's watch list and it fit my pattern uh, fairly well. Uh, let's see, I think I bought in here. Yeah, so I had more room to go. I had the morning panic. I tried dip buying it in here. I took a small loss because, quite frankly, I was a little bit early. And trying to adapt, um, each stock is different. And so um, this one did reach almost the 10% panic. I haven't been waiting for exactly 10% panic because the stocks have been different lately. So. Um, I have been trying to dip by early, which 5%, that's not a good enough panic. Uh, it should be way, it, uh, around 9, 8, well it depends on where it's at though, because if the stock spiked pre-market and then it's having a panic, it could be down a couple percent. It's not necessarily going to go down to 10% panic. I mean, it might equal that overall, but it doesn't necessarily have to be red 10% panic. It was just working at that time and it's still a good, a good guideline but don't think of it as exact set in stone because like I said I noticed that some of the stocks would spike pre-market and then panic and it was panicking maybe 2% in the red, 3% in the red but it had come down quite a ways for that morning panic and I was missing them and so I'm just trying to learn to adapt uh, but it had a 5% red panic roughly, uh, let me actually get the numbers. So 292 is what I bought, and then 290, so yeah, it was right in here where it was, uh, kind of holding this level a little bit. So I bought 292, it bounced to 297, didn't take profits because that, and the price action wasn't right. And uh, with Tim saying you have to adapt to a little bit longer, I was holding it a little bit longer, and then it went down, so I cut my loss quickly. 290, out. Um, and then I waited for another little bit bigger panic. This time I bought in at 293 because it was spiking again. And then I sold at 290. Basically, I repeated the same trade. That was dumb, but uh, so it was dumb and it wasn't dumb because I thought maybe I got kind of spooked out of it and it was spiking higher, so that's why I re-entered. Uh, cut the loss quickly again, so it wasn't down too much, and then it panicked a little bit further. I fat fingered it. I accidentally put three ninety four, three eighty four, something like that. It would. I think that was the one where it rejected, and yeah, like, yeah, it rejected it, and so I had to type it in, so I got a little later fill, I wanted about 280, because it 
panic down to 276 so I wanted to put my buy order for 286 instead I did 386 and I fixed it I still profited I sold at 292 yeah 292 so it panicked down to here I sold almost at the top or basically yeah a couple cents from the top not bad and that's how I mean I had a little bit more gains it was almost like 275 or something like that um, anyways I made back my losses and took a small profit I'm looking at the percent wise because I'm slowly growing my account for a while there, I was bleeding it out, $5 loss, $5 loss every day or larger. So now I'm just learning to take what I get. So overall, this would have been almost an 8 or $9 profit altogether. But because I had a couple losses where I had to cut them quicker this morning, think of it as I had a $600 loss or a $6,000 loss. But I made nine thousand dollars altogether or nine hundred dollars altogether estimating of course um, so by making back my loss I still have a three thousand dollar profit three hundred dollar profit doesn't matter it's about repetition getting used to it percent gains um, because the shares and the the money will come along after your knowledge account starts pouring into your trading account as my teacher likes to say so keep that in mind it makes a huge difference and it helps you fight FOMO when people are like oh you need to use bigger share sizes um, yeah because anyone I don't like they talk like this <laughs> and they have faces that go like this and it's like, mm. <laughs> I don't know what that is but that's what these idiots are like when I read their messages and so yeah uh, next trade got into PEIX because it was a bigger percent gainer on my watch list it was actually a number five pattern and let me show you maybe please <gasps> please dude. okay there we go so you got the run up the panic and then the bounce and I didn't put it in my watch list I've been so exhausted oh She's sleeping now, but my little puppy gets hyper right at midnight when I get my kid to sleep. Well, I get my kid to sleep by like 9, 10 o'clock, depending on how hyper he is. And then I get my watch list written out around 11.30ish. I like to wait till the latest. I like, I like to be asleep by 11.30 my time. It's still 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. So 2.30. Eastern time and then for some reason my puppy is hyper midnight my time three o'clock Eastern and starts running around I take her out to go potty and then she doesn't go to sleep till like two in the morning my time five o'clock in the morning Eastern and then I get to sleep for a couple hours then by like 4 45 5 a.m. maybe 5 45 she's hyper again and then it's the same thing and then hopefully I can keep my kid asleep so I am just exhausted, and so I totally missed this framework. I thought that maybe it was going to panic down to the 270s before the bounce. Um, yeah. yeah, and so I thought it had another leg to go, but this will probably morning panic now. And then... <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> um, so it'll probably panic down some more and then bounce up so I'll be looking for the morning spike but because I didn't I wasn't prepared for this bounce um, I basically chased it I bought in the oh first thing I did right though I lowered my position size because it's not a typical pattern I thought it would continue spiking instead of waiting for the evening or afternoon breakout so I kind of had an idea that I was doing something wrong, but I also kind of thought it was an intraday framework where you have a panic and a bounce, which it, it kind of did, but I thought, I guess one, two, three, four, five, six. So it did, but, uh, so 292, 
I bought in up here, right there. I thought it would do this ramp up. And it did. Hmm. Well, oh, that's right, because I bought in right there. It was going down further than I wanted. I'm like, ah. And there wasn't that. Oh, there's kind of some volume. I shouldn't have been in it, but I wanted to try. So I sold for a penny later. <sighs> then it spiked up after I sold. Typical. So then I really reduced my size. That's right. Um, I really reduced my size down to one share because then I'm like, oh, maybe it'll go up one more time, not realizing that's one, two, three is a ramp up. Yeah. So, um, I bought it at 417, which I've been tempted to short sell because I'm great at picking tops, but there's no strategy behind the way that I do it. I just magically pick the tops, so knowing that I have that kind of luck, um, I did one share, and then it panicked, and I sold... Four, seven, at four. Uh, I just I got caught on the downtrend and I thought I'd give it more time to spike up but it don't chase those up. wait for the morning or wait for the the panics to dip by into that's what I'm confirming with myself because this is what I was doing when I lost a ton so just a little confirmation with my my experience that I have now my little puppy. <laughs> this honorary thing keeps me up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to throw that tidbit of information out there. And don't feel bad about cutting down on your position size. If you feel like you need to get into a stock that you know or have a really good feeling that's not going to be a good trade and you're kind of just testing the waters, one share, ten shares, just a low share amount. Yes, the profits will be small. But so will the losses, if you're insanely wrong. And it's a good experience, you're in the stock. He's had ice cream. <laughs> um, and so that really makes a huge difference. And sorry for this being a really long video. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I cut my loss knowing that. And then it wasn't a quick panic, it was just kind of gradually downtrending, and so I wasn't even going to bother buying it, even though 78, 80, 90, it had 20 cents of upside. But it, I could have, but it, especially because it looks like for the majority of it, it's red, but there's a couple green spots, but it's just not the kind of panic that I like. So, knowing that. I cut my losses. I mean, that's not a quick loss. I mean, I should have cut it a lot faster, but I wanted to give it some time, and just, I'm glad that I had uh, one share. Also, I tried VBIV because it was up there. Uh, 510. So this one, uh, I saw it spiking here, so two, three. Yeah, so I'm pretty good. It was right about here. Yeah, so I bought right here thinking that it would just gradually continue climbing higher. I was wrong. <laughs> Wait for the afternoon breakouts is what I'm learning. If it's just gradually uptrending, it'll can it'll consolidate during that the midday lull as Tim calls it and it'll break out uh, in around power hour or something like that and those are the ones that I'm trying to focus on the most but I thought I could make it fit in here just no nope. so that's a small loss too but I really protected my gains and I am still having my best month yet. I think I've only had one red day this month, but um, we have a few days left so of this month of August. So I'll do a recap uh, 
video later. Not sure when this video is going to post. Um, it takes hours. But, alright. Spread positive positivity to everyone if you can't say something nice. Why just don't say it at all, really? I'm basic, like, gratitude or just respect to people. And it's not nice to tell people that their kids are going to commit suicide. And so I just don't recommend it. That's just rude. Um, and you'll really hurt someone's feelings. And it, I, I don't know whose, but... It can really hurt someone's feelings, so just, if you're feeling down, watch some positive videos or something to make yourself feel better, and just try and be nice to someone else. Anyways, um, I hope this video wasn't too long, too bad, um, and again, thank you for watching. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button, uh, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified when I have other videos. I'm waiting for the day where I'm not so tired so I can actually be more upbeat, but yeah, have a wonderful day. Um, oh, also my prayers and best of all wishes go out to California, Mar Mauritius, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm so bad at pronunciations, um, Yemen, the fire, or the blast in Lebanon, uh, Shoot, now the, is it hurricane, I think, going through Texas and Louisiana, and, oh, I think there's so much more going on, and I just wish the best for everyone. I can't wait till my trading profits are larger so I can help donate even more. Um, I do what I can now. Hopefully you can do what you can. Um, uh, Karmagawa, my teacher's charity, is always trying to save and help people so and animals um, so I'll leave a link to Karmagawa below and a link to my teachers um, his different uh, courses so that way if you're interested in slowly growing your account and learning then you can join up so alright again have a great day and see you guys next time.